Halloween in the 1960s wasn't much different from the previous decade. There were still no big box stores, but most of the five and dimes, like Woolworths, carried basic decorations which mainly consisted of pre-cut paper witches, ghosts, and pumpkins. Many other home decorations were still handmade, including the scarecrows you might find sitting on a porch or perched in a yard. Many costumes continued to be made by hand, but stores still carried a small selection of masks, and a Halloween costume company called Ben Cooper became famous for selling costume kits with a plastic mask and a vinyl smock, which became more and more popular as the decade wore on. You probably remember wearing one of these plastic costumes because of the distinct smell they had. Families would often celebrate the spooky holiday at a party where there were lots of games, costumes, and goodies to eat. The song The Monster Mash was a favorite in the 1960s and would often be played at Halloween events. Other fall festivities included things like haunted houses, which really became popular at the very end of the decade, especially after Disneyland opened the Haunted Mansion in 1969. What made Halloween special was the freedom of that night, along with the friends and the treats. The festivities would usually begin after school and consist of carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns and getting dressed in your costume. The 1960s saw the popularity of pop culture costumes explode in the second half of the decade. You most certainly would have seen a member of the Beatles, a Spider-Man, or a Snow White roaming around your neighborhood. Trick-or-treating would begin at dusk, and kids would carry a paper grocery bag, a pillowcase, or even a plastic pumpkin to collect candy. In the 1960s, kids would still receive fruit, but may also get homemade cookies, full-sized candy bars, or maybe even some edible wax candies. The sweetened wax would come in the form of big red lips, vampire fangs, or even a harmonica that you could play before eating. The night would end once you made the loot back around to your house. Once home, kids would dump out their loot and pick out the best pieces to eat first. Some parents would take the candy and put it on top of the refrigerator so the kids couldn't eat too much, while other parents allowed the kids to eat as much as they wanted. Usually, all the candy would last about a week before it was either gone or picked over. If you were a kid in the 1960s, I hope this video brings back some great memories of celebrating Halloween. Please enjoy this photo album from the past and let me know in the comments your own memories from Halloween during the 1960s.